Jordan, you all right, mate? How are you? Good, mate. You? Yeah, fine, thank you. Um, doing a demo on some pork at the, um, the kitchen today. Oh, fantastic. So, ginger pig, the right place to come. Indeed. Um, four dishes, hour and a half, including a pork cheek. I don't know if you've got any pork cheeks. Pork cheeks? Yeah. Yeah, I think I've got, got one. Yes, perfect. No problem. Where are they from? Uh, so, these are from our farm in Pickering, and I can tell you that the breed is um, a Gloucestershire Gerald Spot crossed with a Tamworth. Wow. So you've got quite a good fat content, but also uh, a really good superior flavour because of the two good, like, um, rare breeds. Uh, that's lovely. And um, what about pork chops? I see you've got a piece yeah. of uh, meat here on the board. I've uh, got some very nice pork chops here, same breed. Have two nice, thick pork chops, please. A nice layer of fat on there as well. That's lovely. Awesome. Uh, I was thinking about pork and scallop. Pork and scallop? Yeah, something from the leg. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I've got uh, the exact thing you need. This is the thing, you guys know your meat. You know what reacts best, you know the breeding. And, um, and that's the thing about you, know, you can't get that in a supermarket. No, exactly. So that's why it's... I come into the market and I have a conversation. The piece of meat out of the loin, um, so like the tenderloin, tenderloin, the fillet. Do you have any of that? No, yeah, we've got that as well, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Got a nice that's perfect. There. Yeah, so all prepped, all ready to go. So that's I that's can, lovely, um... all the silver skin removed off that. Um, that's a real, real lean. Cut. So what I'm trying to do is, is wrap that in a bit of fatty bacon. Yeah. Now I tell you what, I'm going to do a little white bean stew with that. Yeah. Any chorizo? Do you do, do you have chorizo? Oh, uh, we have chorizo. Yeah, it's our own own homemade chorizo. So um, I can show you that and see if that's yeah. suitable for you. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Then have a good one. Cheers, John. Any time I, I got some great product now. Going to yep. get piggy with it in the demo kitchen. Now it's all over to me. Yeah. Take I'll see care, you mate. Afterwards. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, good afternoon everyone and welcome to Thursday's Borough Market Demo Kitchen. My name is Hayden Groves and with our help from Ginger Pig, we'll be looking at uh, six different cuts of pork and we're going to do pork cheeks. So, seasoning up, salt and pepper. So we want to get a nice little bit of colour on these cheeks to start off with. Now with the trim of the cheeks, what well, the butcher removed, we're going to add that into our pan. They won't appear as part of the finished dish. They'll go into the sauce. Some banana shallot. I would say half a carrot or so. And again, so we're getting a nice, nice little bit of colour on our pork cheek there. Garlic, smack with the back of the knife, just to break that down. And that goes in. A couple of bay leaves. Sprig of thyme. We're looking a cup of cider. This is a dry cider that we're using from the new Forest Cider Company. Probably a good teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of tomato puree. I'm adding that to the pan. It's a little bit more cider again. And then we're going to add our brown chicken stock. So we've got a lovely jellied chicken stock. Let that come up to a simmer. We're going to stick them in the pressure cooker. And there we go. We're going to leave that to do its thing. With the pork cheeks, we're going to return to that. We're going to make some, uh, a little bit spring onion mash. Spring onions in with the milk and the butter. And drain our potatoes off. We've got our spring onions, our butter, and our milk. Just giving those pork cheeks a lovely glaze in that cider sauce. A real classic next, pork chop. Be generous with the salt and the pepper. Start off in a medium heat, just with a little bit of oil. We've got a, a, a Granny Smith potatoes. These are a Maris Piper uh, variety. All we've done is cook those in simmering salted water, drain them off, put them in the fridge. That's why I've done them earlier. We're adding a little bit more fat. It's good fat, it's olive oil and then we're going to cook it on the plate bone. Now the, on these pork chops, we've got the plate bone at the bottom. So we've got nice colour on our, on our fat here. It's a little bit crispy. Now we're going to start cooking our pork on the flesh side. Cook those two together like that. And I'm going to give that uh, three minutes. Now I'm going to add a little bit more oil to the pan. And I'm going to add in my potatoes, my apples, my bashed garlic clove, 
my time. And now I'm going to put them somewhere warm. Black pepper. And this is where we really see the change. We want the sage to cook in the butter. So that will give uh, the butter flavour, which in, in turn will give the potatoes flavour. Also we want that to crisp up slightly and add another nice textural element to the dish. So we're going to layer our streaky bacon. And I'm going to use this piece of waxed paper here. So here we have our pork fillet there. Just a pinch of salt. A little bit of sage leaves. Just run them down the side. We're using the cling film here to shape our pork fillet, to keep the bacon in place. So we're going to put our pork in here, immerse it, leave that in there, and what we're going to do is start that cooking, poaching very gently. We've got chorizo, this one here is from Ginger Pig again. Okay, so we've got some shallot, small dice, peppers, a nice half, half centimetre. Start that to cook down. Here we go with our chorizo. All we're going to do is take some of our white beans, drain off some of the liquid. See, we are at 43 degrees at the moment. We're not cooked, but we're going to carry on that cooking process in the pan. We do want to crisp up our bacon in the oven. Just tear down, wield a little bit of spinach. Put some of those porky juices in to our casserole. Fourth and final dish, which is our scallop of pork. My eggs and my panko crumbs here. All right, we want to beat up our uh, eggs with a fork into our flour. So flour makes the egg stick, the eggs make the panko crumb stick. So Japanese breadcrumbs, add some butter, garlic in. We're going to add our pork scallops and start cooking those. Some flat leaf parsley. Okay, I'm just going to make a little bit of brown butter, add some capers, oil in. Okay, a little bit of fried eggs, there's our caper dressing, add some flat leaf parsley in there. 